three days before Christmas, and I wanted custard. I pulled out a jar. It turned out to be mustard. But returning to the story, a plot that will thicken. It's about Santa with a pistol who likes chicken. The kids were asleep on December 22 when one of them sneezed. Oh dear, he has the flu. So his mum came in with a tissue and some cake and Santa stood watching. It looked pretty fake. He wasn't a paedophile. Oh no, that would be bad. He's watching to see if the kid had been bad. Yeah, that one was awesome. Don't be a hater fool. Anyway, yeah. Santa was invisible. He hadn't started his shopping yet, so he flew off to Tesco. By the by, we don't endorse Tesco. He shot at the doors. The manager started to fuss. Who cares, Santa said. Merry Christmas. The manager stared round. His face looked confused. Where is that voice coming from? He quietly amused. He thought it was strange. A gun floating there. It's weird, he exclaimed. It's in mid-air! Then came a shot. It was loud and piercing. And with his last breath, he screamed, Wait, that gun is orange! So he went in the shop before the doors started closing. And then in the store, he started exposing. Down the snack aisle he went, cause kids loved their sweets, but instead for a laugh he bought them some beets. He picked up a case and walked to the checkout. Santa shouldn't steal, he said with no doubt. He paid for the goods and walked out the store. He wanted roast chicken, but now he was poor. I did a good thing, he thought to himself, and now he hopped on his sleigh to visit his elf. So two nights had passed, and not much had happened when Santa left home to give the kids... Wait, nothing rhymes with happened? The kids and adults alike run around in the morning, and Santa lay at home looking up holidays on Bing! So that is the story, I hope you learned lots, about Invisible Santa and the Toy Seedling's Tots. The moral of this, would you like to know? Well, it is. Hold that thought. I gotta go.